Has this ever happened to you? Well, good news! Thanks to this tutorial, you'll learn exactly just how to make your own keychain-sized phone stand! Isn't that fun? And all for the low, low price of... Wh what? It's free? But what about my pay? Free? I don't shill for free, pal! I'm out of here! Wait, no... <sighs> All right, fine, whatever. Hey guys, it's MTF Print. Let's get started. First, you're gonna wanna save your project, name it whatever you want. I'm just naming it Phone Keychain Stand because that's appropriate for this project. Next thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna make a new component. So go to Assemble, New Component. Label that whatever you feel is optimum. I just chose Stand. Next, what we're going to do is make some parameters. So go to Modify, Change Parameters. And these are going to be editable uh, numbers so that you don't have to go in and edit your sketches all the time. So the first one we're going to do is going to be the phone width. And that's going to tell you how deep of a gap to fit your phone. And I'm going to start with 15 millimeters, but that could change. And the next one we're going to do is angle. And what I learned later in the video is you need to change the units from millimeters two degrees and I'm just gonna go for a hundred that will change out later but you'll see me mess with it so to start off we're just gonna get our sketch and we're going to make a center rectangle so we can either use R on the keyboard or we can go to the create menu or the rectangle button right above create and we'll just hit our center rectangle after I get there and we're trying to make a little keychain sized thing so you know 30 by 25 is good. And the thing I want to get across is that this is your project, so change any dimension, any look, any way. This is your baby, so make it the way you want it. So next up, we're going to extrude, and to do that, we're going to highlight our sketch. And we're going to press E for extrude, and we'll bring it up, uh, let's see how past me did it. Uh, 9, I'll end at like 12 for myself. And we're going to make a block. So the next we're gonna do a sketch and that's gonna be on the side of the block and that's gonna create our divot that our phone is gonna go into. Now you're gonna see the dimensions change here in a minute and a half or so, but the bones are still good. So you, I'm leaving this part in. So we're gonna draw our front wall and that's just gonna be a line. And we're gonna start our base, which is another line. And then we're gonna to get to our angle. And our angle, if we press tab, it will put where our degrees are according to that bottom line we drew. We just have to type in angle and that will be our parameter. So now instead of having to edit the sketch, we can just go back to modify change parameters and edit the angle. Next, we're gonna press D for dimension. And same thing, we're gonna type in phone width and that's gonna give us our automatic phone width. And you can see here, I go for dimension, angle, I just type in angle. And you can see here, I made a mistake. And this is where I was telling you where you have to change angle from millimeters to degrees. And I'm leaving that in there because mistakes are okay. It's how we learn. And hopefully doing this, you won't have to learn it the hard way where it took me five minutes to figure out what was happening. So here we are. I just check every single one of these until I find what I'm looking for. Angle, degrees. And there we go, looks good. So now if I type an angle, you'll see it turns black, it tells you it's a function, we're good to go. And then we're just going to dimension all this. So when things are dimensioned, they turn from blue to black, and that makes them editable based on distance. You can see I chose to dimension the first line from the wall, I'm going to make that about 5 millimeters. And you can edit it. So I decide, okay, hey, I don't want that. Maybe I want three, maybe I want seven. All I have to do is change that and the line will move. And because everything else is dimensioned, they'll move along with it. So we're just gonna go with five. And then same thing, dimension the floor. You probably want at least a two millimeter gap just so that way it prints correctly. And we get a nice little cutout. And then you'll see here, I change all that. And this is generally what it looks like now. I used a construction line to give myself both angles because I figured out if the front isn't angled, the phone is gonna fly out of the holder. So we'll just leave those at 105. I also made it a little bit wider. It's still two millimeter floor, so you know, that's consistent, that's cool. Next up, we're going to draw our keychain hole. 
So that way you can put it on a key ring. So we're gonna start out with a construction line. So that's gonna be L for line and then X for construction, unless you're already starting, in which case you have to tap the little construction button off on the right. We're gonna get a circle. We're gonna make that about five millimeters and you can see the same thing. I'm on construction. I can't get out of it with X and that's the wrong size, five millimeters. Just hit the little construction button. It'll turn it back into a full line. We're gonna create some lines, and once you see that little circle taking a line to a circle, that means that it's tangent. So it will line up exactly with the curve of the circle. We can move our circle back and forth, and we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna click on our circle, we're gonna click on our back wall there, after we select tangent, and that will do the exact same thing that our two lines just did. It'll make the back completely aligned with the curvature of the circle. And that'll be our little key ring. So next up, we're gonna split the bodies and you just go to modify split body, select your brick, select your three lines, and that'll let you get your notch out. And since that made two bodies, all you have to do is select your first body that you wanna get rid of and just remove it. And then your notch is gonna come clean out. See, it's looking a little bit like a phone stand so far. You're doing great. Next, we're gonna extrude our key ring. But the first thing you got to do is make sure that you have proper walls. So I only have one circle and that won't print correctly. So we can edit our sketch. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a circle in the middle. I'm just going to make that three millimeters. So that'll give us a two, uh, sorry, 3.5 millimeters. So that'll give us a 1.5 millimeter wall. So that way it prints correctly. Select all of your faces except for the middle of the circle so you have a hollow hole, unlike what I just did because I don't listen to myself. There you go, good job. And so we're gonna make it five millimeters in width. And then you have to do a little bit of math because if it's 25 millimeters and we have five millimeters, that should make it 10 millimeters difference on the offset to get it in the center. 10 plus 10 is 20, plus 5 is 25, that's our width, 25. And a lot of these you can make them parameters and it might make them a little bit easier to mess with, I'm just doing it on the fly. From there you're going to just chamfer. Chamfer, fill it, make it look as pretty as you want, make curves, make fancy stuff. This is really just up to maker preference. But hey, while you're watching me mess around with some corners, maybe hit that like button, subscribe, share it with your friends a little bit. I've been getting a lot of really positive feedback and I'm feeling really good about how this YouTube channel's going. It's really let me kind of embrace my creative side and that's what I want for all of you to make the maker world not so scary. So I appreciate you hanging out with me. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of branding on the front cause you know, that's what you have to do nowadays. So we're just going to start a sketch on the top. We're going to go to create text and we're just going to put big old name, just big old MTF print. Make it really stand out. Put whatever you want. If you want to name the phone stand Stumpy, name it Stumpy. Change around your heights, your positioning of the text. Do whatever you feel is comfy. I make it bold just because I feel like that prints out a little bit better. You know, just see me mess around with it here a little bit. Finish your sketch. And now we're just going to click on it. We're going to hit E for extrude. And we're just going to go 0.2 millimeters up. And that's because I'm going to print at a 0.2 millimeter layer height. So that should get me at least one layer worth of probably white. And then take a look at it, you know, spin it around. This is what I got after various adjustments and trying. I think it was like two or three parts before I actually got my phone to stay in it. So it's gonna take a little bit of effort, but I think it's worth it in the end. It's really convenient. All right, I'll hit you with a time lapse and we'll take a look at it. And here we have the finished product, a nice little keychain sized phone stand, complete with keychain hole, phone standy hole, well, I guess notch specifically, and uh, your own little branding if you wanna put it on there. But I know the question that everyone is asking, does it hold a phone? And the answer is, uh, yeah, it does. It does hold my phone very well. Uh, unfortunately, I'm using my phone to record. So I'm gonna have to use my old phone and uh, you might wanna put some sunglasses on your eyes because it's, it's kind of bougie. Uh, an old 
Galaxy Z Flip 3. And so we'll just plop it on there. And it's all looking pretty good. Hey, you can see my window. So it holds it pretty good. Um, obviously I made it more specifically towards my phone with a case, which the Z Flip 3 is a lot thinner, so it kind of folds back a little bit more. But for mine, it works out just the way I like it. For you, you can design it to specifically fit your phone, so you can have it at a tighter angle. You know, not so flappy. But I think it's a pretty cool print. And it's, like I said, a keychain. So you can put it literally wherever you want to on your key ring. Um, definitely taking this with me wherever I go because it's so freaking handy. So there you go. Anyway guys, that's going to do it for me. If you really like this video and you like this print, make sure to like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and you know, this was just a really cool thing to do. So thanks for hanging out with me. Yeah.